was a tiny superconducting circuit on a chip, featuring a component called a Josephson junction, two superconductors separated by a razor-thin insulating barrier. With immense care, they cooled their circuit to just fractions of a degree above absolute zero, shielding it from any stray noise or radiation. They then applied a small current, trapping the system of Cooper pairs in a zero-voltage state. Classically, the system was stuck. It did not have enough energy to overcome the barrier and create a voltage. It was like a ball sitting at the bottom of a valley with no energy to roll up and over the hill. And then they watched. Time and time again, after a brief, unpredictable pause, a voltage would suddenly appear. The system had escaped. Despite having no energy to climb the hill, it had tunneled right through it. Not one electron at a time, but the entire macroscopic system of billions of Cooper pairs acting in perfect unison. They had unequivocally witnessed macroscopic quantum tunneling. But they didn't stop there. By zapping the circuit with microwaves, they made another profound discovery. The system would only absorb energy in specific discrete amounts, or quanta. It had distinct energy levels, just like a single atom. The implications of this were staggering. Clark, Devore, and Martinez hadn't just observed a strange effect. They had created an artificial atom, an atom with wires and sockets, one that could be controlled, measured, and engineered. They had taken the bizarre rules of the quantum world and built them into a tangible, human-made device. This discovery is the bedrock upon which much of modern quantum technology is built. Their artificial atom is the direct ancestor of the quantum bit, or qubit, the fundamental building block of a quantum computer. John Martinez himself would later go on to lead a team that built one of the world's first quantum computers to achieve quantum supremacy. From quantum simulation to ultra-sensitive detectors, the work of these three laureates transformed quantum mechanics from something we observe in nature to something we can build, control, and engineer. They showed that the strange and wonderful rules of the quantum world were not confined to the shadows, but could be brought into our own macroscopic reality, opening a door to a future of technology we are only just beginning to explore.